either of us. So all of us drive around town and on our local roads, which sometimes aren't all that great, with potholes here and there. And something else you often run into are, of course, artificial speed bumps, which are meant to keep us from exceeding the speed limit. The colloquial term for them in our parts is lying policemen. Look at that. And for this experiment we have found a speed bump of the regular type, one that's made to state standard. Narrow but tall. But some of the speed bumps on our roads are a bit wider. We've made a template for one of those, which we've used to make a copy. For this test we're going to be using a fairly popular crossover. Here it is right here, this is of course a Subaru Forester, and these are pretty popular in our part of the world. Check this out guys, here we have that speed bump, the car is ready and I think we should get this started. And I suggest we kick this off with some proper speeds. At the very least like 40 kilometers an hour. And let's see how the suspension is able to handle this, let's go! At 40 kilometers an hour the car wasn't in the least upset. So let's increase the speed to 60 then. That's 16. So I did feel a kick in the suspension. But nothing particularly unpleasant. I have a feeling that if I increase the speed even further, I'll actually feel even less. I'll get up to as high a speed as I can. Let's see, that's 70. 80. At 80 I literally felt nothing. Honestly, it felt as if I drove over a stick lying on the road or something. And that's about it. I mean, that one was obvious. And also, nobody's really driving around town at those sorts of speeds. Now I suggest we see what happens when you hit the brakes and go over a speed bump with the suspension loaded up. Let's go. Braking. Here's where I suggest we start. We're driving around at 40 kilometers an hour. Then we see a speed bump, we hit the brakes. Okay, that was pretty intense. At the very least, the front axle took a really big hit. That was at 40. That was even more unpleasant. The suspension just took a serious pounding. Now I'm gonna try accelerating to as high a speed as I can. Yeah, let's see how fast it'll go. 80. 90. What the... Didn't notice any changes. That was horrible. That was a massive hit. So I was just asked, like, why are you using a car with a decent suspension? Here's one with a bad suspension. I mean, just by looking at it, I can tell that something is wrong with the suspension. As for how a car with a bad suspension will handle this speed bump, well, let's find out, let's go. What 
What is up with this thing? But what'll happen if I... go over it at lower speed? For crying out loud! Are you guys taking the piss or what? I vote for whoever worked on this car to try it out. I want to see how he fares. There you go, come on. Come on now. My guess is that the tires absorb a lot of the impact over the smaller bump. Now we try the same thing, but under emergency braking. Let's look on. So apparently, I mean, with this stiff a suspension, it's not compressing, because it lacks the capability to. And under hard braking, the car just rapidly decelerates. We also have a speed bump of this type, of the wide variety. I say we hop into the car and see how it handles this sort of wide speed bump. Let's go. Now that was hardcore. The suspension ate that up, but compressed all the way, apparently. It felt as if I caught a bit of air and then I landed. It was a nice, soft landing. But then I was only going 60 kilometers an hour. Let's go a bit faster. Okay. Now that was just... I actually got a bit scared back there. But I was only going 80 kilometers an hour. Now let's try that all over again. But introduce some braking. Holy cow! I just felt like some kind of cowboy who got up onto an untamed cow or something. Anyway. The suspension was under serious load, it took a good hit. Like a really good hit. And I think I felt the car get airborne. But yeah, that was severely unpleasant. And now let's tackle the same speed bump, but in a car with a bad suspension. This non-working suspension is just horrible. Wasn't even going all that fast either. So look here. I was only able to have one go on that bad suspension, but it was a pretty epic one. You would have seen the car, I mean, it even caught air. Inside it didn't feel as if it jumped too high, but then I saw the footage and was quite surprised. Another serious drawback of this car is that it is front-wheel drive, with axle shafts and all of that. Yes, the suspension was welded up, but a CV joint let go. One of the inner ones disintegrated. Where does this bring us, though? Well, you should look after your cars and your own health, stay within the speed limit, and be very careful and cautious when you're going over speed bumps. And that's it for this video, you saw it all for yourselves. Get you guys later.